Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today in this video I would like to show you a quick tip how to rotate an image or video footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go! It is actually quite simple. When you put your footage clip on the timeline and you would like to rotate it, you can do it through the FX control panel. So you just gotta go to the top here and choose FX control. If for some reason the FX control panel is not visible, you can just go to window menu up here and then just choose FX control. This is one of the main panels in Adobe Premiere Pro, so it should be present, but if for some reason it was closed, it's gonna be located over here, so you can open it up even by pressing Shift plus five. Anyway, once you go to the FX control, you're gonna see a few parameters you can change. The first one's gonna be in the motion tab and it's position and scale. You might know this already, it might be also minimized like this, so if you don't see the position and scale, you're just going to open up this tab here, and you're going to see the motion. For example, if you change the position, it's going to move the frame to the right, to the left, up and down, however you want it. Then you can also scale it, zoom it in, zoom it out, and you can bring it back by pressing this arrow here. And then the third parameter that you can change is the rotation. You can either put the numbers manually, for example, if you would like to rotate it 90 degrees, you just put 90 and then press enter, and it's going to rotate the image for 90 degrees. And right now, if we press it and play it, as you can see, it's rotated at 90 degrees. And if you want to bring it back, just press this icon right here called reset parameter. But if you don't know the exact angle you want to rotate it, you can just left mouse click and drag this slider here. Well, there's no actual slider, but it's actually rotating either right to left and it's going to be adding certain amount of degrees. That's, for example, if your horizon is not straight and you want to just make it straighter. After you add a certain degree to the footage, you're going to see there is some black bars appearing at the top and bottom. Then if we zoom it up a little bit, there we go. And right now it's actually pretty good. So you can see that the black bars are gone. And um, yeah, so this is how it's working. Another thing you can change is anchor point. And this is basically the location of the point at which it's going to be pivoting. So right now it's set at the middle. As you can see when I'm rotating, the picture is rotating through the middle. Always. It's always rotating through the middle. But if I change the anchor point, let's say a little bit to here and start rotating, it's going to start rotating at a different point. So this is the main way how you can rotate the image and video footage on the timeline. But there's one more tip I would like to share with you today. If you go to the affix and then search in the search field and type in flip, you're going to see there are two options here, horizontal flip and vertical flip. And what it does is actually flips the image. So if you don't need to rotate it, but you just want to flip it, let's try the horizontal flip. As you can see, this is just the mirror, like the cat was looking to the left. Now it's looking to the right, as you can see. So this is the mirror flip. If we do a vertical flip, of course it will be upside down, just like that. So these are the two other ways you can transform the image. Instead of just rotating it, you can add a flip to it and you can do a lot of different things with it. So yeah, this is it guys. These are the main ways how you can rotate the image in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you find this video helpful. If you wanna learn how to crop the image and add cinematic black bars to your footage, I have another video on this topic, so you can go ahead and check it out. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you would like to learn more about Adobe Premiere Pro, take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if this video was helpful to you, Give this video a like. I appreciate it very much. And I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.